What a fantastic yeah. game. Um, that's college soccer at its best. Two great teams. Um, and, and very entertaining for the fans, I'm sure. Not so much for both head coaches or the players for that matter. Uh, but a lot of credit to our players for you know persevering here in overtime. But also a um, lot of respect for Bob Butorn and the Florida Golf Coast team coming up here and giving us uh, one heck of a match. They came out really, really strong. You guys seemed to turn that after about, you know, Bob thought about the first 25 minutes or so. But they really came out like gangbusters. Then you guys kind of turned it around a little bit as the match wore on. Yeah, I mean, I, I think um, that had me a little bit worried, to be honest with you. I thought they might be a little tentative playing in their first NCAA tournament game. But that's an experienced group. They came out here and... Uh, they pressured us. They put us uh, in some tight spots, and we didn't get out of them, to be honest with you. And uh, you know, it took about probably about 15, 20 minutes. Uh, I looked up at the clock, and I was like, you know what? We're probably in a good spot here, having not given up a goal. And then I thought our players settled down and start to control the game a little bit and, and turn the tide, if you will. Kevon, can you walk us through that last goal, team? Only goal. Uh, it was a, a team effort. We got the ball down the right from Malcolm, hit it over to Matt. Little Matt, he just hit it over and. I just don't remember what happened after that. I just remember seeing the ball rolling out the back of the net. Well, we, we had a hard time catching that from up there because there was a big squad of humanity there. What about how far out were you when you struck it? Maybe about seven yards. Okay. Yeah, about seven yards. Did, did you feel feel it was going in as soon as you kicked it, or was well, it one well, of those? My eyes were closed when I hit it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, All right. So. Did, oh, so you didn't even see if you could see if it until it hit the back of the net. Then when, when did you first see that it went in? Oh, know? after I turned around, I celebrated, looked at the linesman, didn't see his flag. Celebrated with the team. Now, Kevon, where is this rank for you with uh, soccer moments in your life? This has to be number one. I thought the Marshall game was going to top it off for me, but this game meant way more because they beat us during the season, and it wasn't our best game, and we had we had something to prove and to give credit to our coach as well to be holding one. Now, building off that, Coach, do you think uh, the difference in result from the first match, do you think that it was execution or that the game plan was a little different? No, I mean, at the end of the day, you know, looking back on that game, which I watched just a couple days ago, um, it was a good game as well. I mean, it was kind of end-to-end. -end. You know, they finished two chances, we finished one, and, and there we were at the loss. But these two teams are completely different than we were a month and a half ago. And uh, when you know that it's the end all, the loser, um, you know, at the end of the day, you're just, you know, you're just trying to make sure you do things smart and you execute, you know, what's, what's put in front of you. And I'll, I'll give you, they're giving me credit, I'll give them credit. I can only lay the game plan out. And, uh, and they took it to them. And uh, I'll give you an honest opinion. Um, you know, we beat Memphis a week ago in the quarterfinals. Um, same thing. You know, same, same, same type of uh, play that we were able to kind of sustain a little bit of their pressure, finally get across midfield. And, and the first chance we had, we put it away. So, you know, the guys were resilient and, uh, and they learned a lesson from a week ago, which is always important as we move forward. Melton, can you give me your vantage from your vantage point? Can you kind of go through the play? Um, I think it started off with Spencer, um, played in to Jimmy up top, mm -hmm. they laid it off, so I back through, through um, AJ, mm -hmm. uh, he played me through once, first time, and just hit it in. I really thought I missed everybody, and I saw Matt made a good run back side, and hit it back in, he came through and finished it So did their goalie touch the ball at all? Or did it go? I believe he, uh, I think he missed it on the cross, actually. He was actually in a great spot, I think it just cleared him. Oh, just and we were able to make a play on it on the back post, and that's when it came back out to Kevon. Okay. Now, Coach, uh, since Spencer's been back, the team's looked like they've had a spark. How do you think his addition has, has helped the team? <laughs> I mean, there's only one way to put this. He's fast. And, uh, you know, you get him out on that right side, and you have Malcolm, who's not too slow himself. Um, as you saw on that last play, um, it just gives us a spark going forward. It's the, you know, a nice little counterattack if we're, if we're getting pinned in like we were a little bit tonight, or in possession, he can go 1v1. So. Um, having him on the field is massive for us. And at the end of the day, you know, he played in two NCAA tournament games last year. He played in a semifinal last year in Conference USA. And he's got experience. He's a senior, and we count on his leadership uh, when it counts most. Coach, can you talk a little bit about USF coming up this weekend? What a great team. Um, had the chance to watch him a couple weeks ago. And, <laughs> you know, this day and age with soccer's on TV all the time, you know, put the kids to bed at 8 and, you know, start watching college soccer. And I watched three of their matches already this year that were on TV and went over and watched them play live. And what a great team. They 
They possess the ball very well. They got one of the leading goal scorers in the country. They actually have a goalkeeper who beat us last year, who's the, the former Michigan goalkeeper. So that'd be a nice little matchup again for us. And um, you know, George is a great coach. He's a great mind. I'm sure they're here in attendance tonight, and um, they'll be ready for us come Sunday. And you know, we're gonna have to have our uh, our A game to beat them at their place, which not a lot of teams do. We talk about adding to the matchup a little bit, so rivalry uh, before uh, rivals, and uh, beat them last year in the NCAA tournament. Kind of, kind of just that adds to the match a little bit. A little bit, but I, I think George will tell you the same thing that we're two different teams than we were a year ago. Um, you know, they were a good team, and we just we you know we just caught them that night, and, and we we were firing all cylinders, and, and, and unfortunately for them they weren't. But um, they're two different teams. They got a whole different personnel from their lineup last year, and and we're honestly a completely different team. So I think it'll be another fun, entertaining game, which is what you get here um, in the NCAA tournament. Coach, now uh, with a little bit of a quick turnaround in the game on Sunday. Where do you draw the line from celebration from the big win to preparation? Well, you know, I'll, I'll give uh, Kevon and our seniors credit. You know, the celebration will, you know, end probably as they leave the locker room, and we'll turn our attention to South Florida because, you know, it's another big test. So we enjoyed that game, but unfortunately, you know, we'll have time to reflect on this next spring at a banquet sometime. <laughs> but let's just try and keep it going as quick as we can to turn around and play South Florida. Warren Creeble went down early. Do you have status on how he's doing? <coughs> no update on Warren. Um, you know, from what I'm being told right now, he'll be ready to play on Sunday with no issues. You know exactly what it was that. Just he just got poked in the eye, and we didn't want to take any chances. Any other questions? Thank you.